Well, climate change may have been pushed off the headlines amidst news of scandals and the recent visit of uh, U.S. President Barack Obama. But days ahead of the Cancun Climate Change Summit 2010 in Mexico, India's premier science institute in Bangalore kept the debate alive for hundreds of engineering students. However, are tomorrow's engineers clued in enough on the climate change? Vasanthi Hari Prakash has more. Why does it take less time on a flight to India from the U.S. than the other way around? Bet you wouldn't have thought this question has anything to do with climate science. Indeed, it does. And the answer is, at the altitude that the jets fly, strong winds blow from west to east. The prestigious IISC, the venue for a climate science quiz for engineering students in and around Bangalore. The stakes, 20,000 rupees for the winning team. A lot of money, but there were more zeros than in that on the scoreboards. Maybe a bit too technical, but students in a city that prides itself on the country's finest science institutions clearly have a lot of catching up to do when it comes to climate science. We never expected them to ask uh, what parts per million of carbon dioxide, uh, what percentage of uh, nitrous oxide, sulfur dioxide. So. Generally, most what happens is all these guys just read Wikipedia or something like they just keep in trend with the normal newspapers and the news. And actually, that would have been sufficient for normal quizzes, but this was at IAC. But the man who earlier headed India's space research organization, ISRO, did have a kind word. I look at it the other way. See, when we were students, we didn't even know this much. Over a period of time, partly because of the fact that things have changed and there is a, got a much better exposure. Hopefully, climate change awareness too among students will change for the better. In Bangalore, Vasanthi Hari Prakash for NDTV.